Hello YouTube and in this video I'm going to teach you how to install a BL Touch style bed levelling sensor to this GTEC A20M. Now GTEC in their wisdom have already set up a mounting plate here for the BL Touch style sensor. At the rear of the hot end assembly they have supplied us with a breakout board which already has the two sockets available here just to plug our BL Touch style levelling sensor straight in. So what we have here is the GTEC's own BL Touch style kit. This is called the 3D Touch. Comes in a seal bag like this with all the extra pins and cables you may require. But for this install, we will only need what comes in the packet. So good use of teeth. Tear the top off the packet. So this is all we're going to need as it's already set up with the two sockets there which will now plug straight into the back of the hot end and we will use the screws, nuts and washers supplied in the rest of the pack to fix it. Now as you can see at the bottom of the mount there are two very small allen bolts there which will adjust the height of the mount once we have the BL Touch style sensor fitted. Um, so what we'll do is now is just loosen those off slightly so we're able to have a little bit of play when fitting the sensor. It's not impossible to get to these once the sensor is installed but it is a little more difficult. So to start off with them just a little bit loose does make life an awful lot easier later on. So the first thing to do is to feed the plugs and cables for the sensor up through the gap at the rear of the sensor mount which I promise you is a lot easier than I'm making it look so they go up like that so the sensor is at the bottom like so and now we will take the nuts bolts from the kit and we will tighten that up now the bolts that come with the kit are quite long and what you will find is if you put them in top ways down like that they actually obscure the nuts that we've just loosened off for setting the sensor height so what I do is I put them in the other way up so I come from the bottom and I put the bolt up through the 3D touch sensor up through the mount like so and then I put a washer on if I can manage to get hold of one without dropping it on the build plate this would be a lot easier to do if I didn't have a camera and tripod in the way which I'm sure you won't when you're doing yours and then take the nut and put the nut on the top trying not to not knock the camera over at the same time so like that spin that on and then with a small screwdriver you can tighten those bolts up from underneath so we'll get that finger tight like so and then we're going to get the second one and we'll fit that so the second one is done exactly the same way I should come around this side to do this one sorry for knocking the camera but it's uh, it's impossible not to do that at this stage. If you are getting seasick, I do apologise. So, bolt up through from the bottom, hold it with your finger, washer on, nut on. Now, these are quite fiddly, it's got to be said. If you've got numb hands like I have, it is quite fiddly to get those on but a little bit of perseverance like so and then we'll get the screwdriver and we'll tighten those up now a little tip for tightening those screws up rather than trying to fit a screwdriver between the build plate and the sensor like that if you carefully and slowly bring your carriage to the end you've now got a full height there 
put a screwdriver in to tighten those screws up. So with the cable, the breakout board, we're going to use the top row of pins, the top five that run across there. So we're going to put the three-way block in first on the first three pins and then the two-way block on the last two pins. So the correct orientation for the triple is brown, red, orange. So we'll bring that round and put that on the first three pins, like so. And then the two pin one that's left is black and then white. And that goes on to the last two pins eventually, like so. So your cable should read from left to right, brown, red, orange, black, white. And that's the BL Touch simply installed. For the next step, we will set the height of the BL Touch and then we will go on to altering the firmware to allow for it. So there are many different ways to set the sensor height. The way I do it, I have the machine switched off and I turn the lead screw until the, the nozzle just touches the bed and we want the sensor when the pin is in the in position to be approximately three millimeters above the bed now. Now the easiest way of doing this, I found, I have a three millimeter Allen key. So anything that's about three, millimeter, three millimeters in thickness will do. So we lift the sensor up, put the Allen key underneath. Now the problem with this Allen key is of course, is that the flats need to be lined up. So we have that like that. So I now know that's three millimeters above bed level. So I can now tighten up those two bolts that we loosened earlier. Like so. So I've now got three millimeters clearance between the nozzle touch in the bed and the pin when it's in its retracted position. So the next thing to do is to hop over to the computer and sort the firmware side out. So you merely connect the printer to the computer with the USB cable provided, which goes into the port on the side here, and we turn the power on. At this point, your computer should recognize your printer. If it doesn't, I will leave a link down below to where you can download the necessary drivers, but most cases it should just find it straight away. So now we need to download the firmware. To do this, we go to GTEx GitHub and download the zip file. Once you've downloaded that zip file, you unpack it and you end up with a folder like that. Now you need one other piece of software at this moment, which is Arduino IDE. So we need to go to the Arduino website, go to the downloads, and we need to download Arduino 1.8.5 or higher. We're going to go for 1.8.5, click on the Windows installer, contribute if you feel the need, I have already so there's no need for me to do it again, but please do even if it's only $3, it does help Arduino and it does help to keep things moving forward. So just a few more seconds till the Arduino is downloaded. like so, and then we'll open it, so when you open it up it gives you these options, you can extract and install, 
shouldn't take too long we'll just pause it while it installs agree to it installing all the drivers once it's all done click close and then we shall open Arduino if you get a, a firewall detection just click allow access it's perfectly safe you can trust me <laughs> then you go to file you go to open you go to wherever you unzipped your firmware to mine was on my desktop so it's just a matter of scrolling down there it is double click on that go down the list find the A20M Marlin with 3D touch double click on that double click on the Marlin folder scroll down until you see an icon on this side here which is the Arduino icon which is there under the name of Marlin double click on that that has opened up what they call a sketch which is the firmware if you scroll down the firmware you want to go to the configuration H tab scroll down a couple of things to check firstly and most importantly past the PID settings thermal runaway protection and as you can see on this version of the firmware they are defined they are switched on so thermal runaway is switched on this firmware so that's brilliant we carry on scrolling down get to the Z probe options you will see that the Z probe is defined and if we scroll a little further down we'll see that it's defined for the BL touch so that's the firmware that we need so that's brilliant so we click on tools go to board and we want the Arduino Mega you want to go to the COM port find the COM port of your printer which in my case is the bottom one which is COM port 7 and then we just need to go to verify which compiles the sketch and make sure that the sketch is correct for the machine that you are uploading it to and once it is finished doing that we will then upload it so there we are it is finished compiling it tells us that it leaves some bytes in the memory which is lovely we go to the top and we click upload now it says it's recompiling the sketch this doesn't take long because it's still compiled in memory so it's got no alterations to compile it is literally now just getting ready for the upload and the flashing of the firmware to your printer so as you can see now it says uploading and we'll just wait for that to finish And there we are done uploading so that is the firmware now flashed to the a20m so now we can check to see whether the firmware has flashed so we'll reset the machine you can do this by switching it on and off but I prefer to use the reset button as you can see it's showing us Marlin 1.1.8 we go down to the prepare menu scroll down you see we now have a BL touch self test on the prepare menu if you go down to the control menu you'll see we now have a whole section on the BL touch which allows you to reset it self test it deploy it or stow it so if you set everything up correctly you should be able to go back to prepare click on bed leveling 
and we'll get the printer to self-level the bed. So prepare, scroll down to bed levelling, As you can see, it first probes the centre of the bed. Now, the nozzle may not be in the centre of the bed, but the probe itself is. That's the important thing to notice. And then it does its nine-point probe. Three across the front. Like so. Then it'll do three across the middle of the bed and then three across the rear of the bed thus having nine point bed levelling set up. The only thing left to remember is to add the G29 code to any scripts you have on your slicer at the beginning of your print make sure that that code is put in after any G28 commands as G28 will override the G29 so make sure if you have a G28 command you have a G29 command after it that will set your auto bed levelling and you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.